Thirteen years ago, in October 2005, the Ministry of Defence contracted Capital Construction Company to put up 144 three-bedroomed houses at the Kenyatta Barracks in Gilgil. The contract was to cost 346 million shillings and was to be completed in two years' time. But that was never to be, and the completion date was extended to June 2009. Even then, the contractor could not meet his end of the bargain and the ministry had to cancel the contract, having paid 297 million shillings of the cost, despite the completion rate being 61%. Another company was contracted to implement the remainder of the project upon revisions at an extra cost of 660 million shillings. That raised the cost of a project that should have cost 346 million shillings 13 years ago to almost a billion at 957 million shillings. At the same barracks, a contract to put up a food processing factory was signed at 449 million shillings in March 2015. Another tender worth 30 million shillings was awarded to the same contractor for civil works. It was to be completed in December 2015. Six months later, upon review, the contractor had abandoned the site. 73% of the second contract had already been paid out. The Ministry of Defence awarded another contract for equipping of the factory at a cost of 373 million shillings. As of June 2016, no equipment had been delivered, according to the Auditor General's report. At the Embakasi Garrison, a 316 million shillings worth contract was awarded in March 2013 for the construction of accommodation units. It should have been concluded by March 2014. More than two years later, 265 million shillings or 84% of the contract sum had been paid out, yet the project delivery was delayed. At the Education Ministry, 428 million shillings contract was awarded in 2014 for construction of various facilities at eight technical institutions. Despite an agreed completion period of two years, all contracts were behind schedule by the time of review by the Auditor General. 294 million shillings had already been paid out. At the sports docket, Olenguruone Stadium in Nakuru was to be constructed at a cost of 290 million shillings. That was in November 2012. Four years later, there was nothing to show but an abandoned site and 73 million shillings of taxpayers' money already paid out. The judiciary too fell victim. A contract worth 814 million shillings was signed in September 2013 for the construction of Lodua Court facilities. It should have taken 18 months, but as of 2016, the project had stalled at 27.7% completion. The judiciary had already released 124 million shillings by then. More and more projects have been flagged by the Auditor General every other year, emerging issues being of rogue contractors who abandon projects midway while some review terms of contract. Eventually funds are lost, with a government that is embroiled in hundreds of projects losing track. But the president feels it's time that stopped. There will be no new projects that will be started or embarked upon until you conclude and complete the projects that have already begun. Over the years, the Exchequer has been releasing financing for projects, but weak monitoring and evaluation mechanisms by government agencies have cost the taxpayer value for money and timely completion. Some get to go citizen weekend.